All right, now let's review the coordinate frames first. To express a position and or attitude of any kind of object, you need a coordinate frame, which an object can reference to. For example, how do you define a position of this copy cup? Maybe on top of a desk or two inches from a monitor. Right, things are all relative when it comes to express the position or attitude. So typically we use earth-centered inertia, earth-centered earth-fixed, or local NED frames of reference in uh, describing aerospace objects like an airplane, your quad rotors, and maybe a satellite. In modeling a quadrotor UAB, it is enough to use the local NED frame as our inertia frame of reference. The origin of a local NED frame is located on the surface of the Earth at some local reference point with g-axis point inwards, x-axis points to the local nose, and y-axis points to the local east. The simple local fixed tangent plane, flat earth, is frequently used to uh, the most short-term control analysis and designs. Now, to express the attitude of a quad order, we need one more coordinate frame called the body frame. Just like the conventional airplane, we defined the x-axis toward the nose direction, y-axis to the right hand, and z-axis to the downward. When the body axis are aligned with the inertia axis, your rotation matrix is the same as the identity matrix. or your roll, pitch, and your angles are all zeros. Now, a question may arise when your drone flies away from the origin with arbitrary rotations. How do you express the attitude of the body in this case? Now, we need to start talk about coordinate transformations.